I'm going to follow up on the swing rhythm that I was looking at. <clears throat> I've got another video on this that has the music, so um, listen to this for the sounds and watch the other video for the music. What I'm going to do is I'm going to play it correctly first, then I'm going to play it incorrectly to show you what the problems are and some things to watch out for, and then we'll have a look at how to control it from there. things first, uh, this is more for the SQA than, than the viewers, uh, I remember teaching a grade 6 student that when these SQA pieces came out, lost all motivation. Her point was, well what was the point in trying for grade 6 if all this is, this is all I have to, to do to pass higher music? And that's a fair point, I think that needs to be sorted out. Uh, this is a swing rhythm, which is actually written in shuffle rhythm. So again, something else that needs to be sorted out. So be careful of that, that it doesn't lapse into swing. What swing would be is a series of triplets, playing the outside of the triplets. And the reason it's called swing music is because like a swing, then we count the outsides. One, three, one, three, one. So you're counting the, the one on, or, or the numbers on the outside. One, not the middle, the two, but the three. So if I was playing this actually in a swing beat, this would sound like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Then the, the shuffle rhythm that is written where it has a dotted quaver followed by a semiquaver, um, which divides it into four semiquavers. Uh, which gives you, I just got this, it's almost like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Taking out the semiquavers up here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three. In a previous video, or in another video, depending on which order you're watching these in, I mentioned that you can't divide two to make three of the same size of amount. So you can't divide two quavers and then suddenly make a third quaver as well of an e equal quaver amount. So what you do with triplets, which is three quavers in the space of two, in this case, more generally quaver, uh, triplets being three in the space of two, three whatever it is in the space of two. Look at the music. The last bar has three crotchets, where there should be two crotchets. Rather than trying to be mathematical about it and trying to scientifically prove it, what I want you to do is artistically prove it or more poetically prove it, 
by just counting three units instead of two, or perhaps not even using numbers because that will make you think about maths and about science, but this isn't maths or science, this is art, it's a different mode of proof that we use in art, then things like elephant, tata ba, ta, so if I were to use the, uh, the Kadai methodology, ta, ta, ri, ta, ri, so ta, te, ri, ta, te, ri, I'll do a separate video on Kadai methodology, but um, do not use numbers for this because it gets you to think about scientific or at least mathematical methodology, which is not what we use in art. We use artistic methodology and teaching methodology in music. So we've got this shuffle rhythm, which is on the one and the four, not swing rhythm, which is on an even set of threes. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. saying that this beat can be a little complicated trying to get the, <coughs> the foot activated hi-hat. So if you just think right to left to right to left, you go this one. That really helps to get that together. Just this either plays all on the right hand side of the kit or all on the left hand side of the kit. So here I'm just placing my sticks, one slightly higher than the other. It's all strictly triplets, so that's easy enough. One, two, three, four. triplet, the final quaver of the triplet, but not the middle quaver, in all but bar two, in beat two. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, final system. Do 
do not think about the mathematical methodology of this. It is art that we're doing, so we're looking for an artistic methodology. So something like, I want to be in America. I want to be in America. Sorry, my screensaver just changed and it caught my concentration. So, when it comes to this beat, I would think right to left, so right, right to left, you don't actually hit the hi-hat with your hand, you use your foot. So right to left helps you with the beat, and be particularly conscious of the shuffle rhythm in the beat, that is one and four, one, two, three, four, and then the triplet rhythm in the fills.